Welcome back. Now I'd like to introduce our next Google Cloud speaker, Adam Berlew, Director of Cloud AI and Industry Solutions. Adam manages strategic relationships with customers for the creation of cloud AI and industry solutions. Adam will share trends on AI and how this technology can help solve major business problems across industries. Adam, take it away. Thanks, Chris. Hi, I'm Adam Berlew. I am the director of AI and industry solutions at Google. It's great to be here. Over the next decade, every business will be transformed through AI. McKinsey just published a report where the companies that they surveyed, half of them are already experimenting or have projects with AI. There are four domains that we feel are most practical for advancement. Vision, conversation, language, and structured data. I will talk you through these through the rest of the presentation. So where do you start with AI? We start by looking at who the user is and what we want to enable. In the case of AI, there are many different users with different needs. There are business end users that have data and want to gain insight or automation. Developers who don't have ML expertise but still want to use ML. Data scientists who want to easily go from model creation to production. Businesses that are just trying to figure out how AI can make their business better. To address this, we start with a common integrated stack data and analytics tools that make it easy for customers to bring their data in, get insights out, and prepare them for machine learning. Data is the basis for all AI. This is a crucial part of the production. AI platform that makes it easy and fast to deploy machine learning models. In addition, it needs to be easy to deploy and share models within enterprises and between companies. AI building blocks, to bring the best of Google's AI to business and developers. Then we integrate this common stack into Google and third-party tools that our users know best. For business end users, we integrate it into Workspace so that it is part of their productivity tools. For developers, we've integrated into Firebase and Android SDK, which is where a large, large amount of Google developers go for their technology. And for data scientists, we are integrating into Kaggle, which now has over 1.5 million data scientists in their community. And for businesses, we integrate with partner products that they know best so that AI is part of their business workflow. Also, we are creating building blocks to create full solutions that our partners can integrate with. There are three areas where AI is changing the enterprise. Personalized customer interactions, and I'll talk about what Akata does with that. Efficiency and agility, and I'll talk about how we do that in Google data centers. Spotting patterns, and I'll tell you what Rolls-Royce is doing with that. And then adding structure to your data, which is something that uh, our customer box is doing. So personalized customer interactions. Okado is the UK's largest online-only grocery retailer and uses machine learning to tag and categorize customer emails and then prioritize them for response by their contact center. The contact center receives thousands of emails each day, and Okado wanted to automate determining which ones needed to be answered immediately and which ones could wait. For example, a first-time customer expressing their delight in using Okado doesn't need to be responded to with the same urgency as customers who are missing an item from their order or, or who, do, who won't be home for delivery. Since deploying, their response rates have improved along with the efficiency to the customer center. Efficiency. Google uses AI to reduce the amount of energy we use for data centers, and it reduces our cooling by up to 40%. In any large energy consuming environment, this would be a huge improvement. Given how sophisticated our data centers are, this is a giant step forward. The implications are 
big for our, our data centers and uh, both improving the efficiency and, and reducing emissions, but this also helps other companies who run on our data centers to improve their own carbon emissions footprint. Spotting patterns. Rolls-Royce is working with Google Cloud to build an object classification system for detecting, identifying, and tracking, and tracking objects a ship can encounter at sea. This is essential as autonomous ships become commonplace. Rolls-Royce will create machine learning models that can interpret large and diverse marine data sets. Accessing this through the cloud, the model can be developed from anywhere and immediately be accessible. Adding structure to your data. Images are the second most common and fastest growing type of files stored in Box. Box has integrated cloud vision to help their customers find more value from unstructured data by automatically identifying, classing, classifying, and tagging images. Since most of the files in Box contain text, such as licenses, forms, and contracts, Cloud Vision Optical Character Recognition was a huge bonus. By implementing image recognition, Box provides automated high-quality image labeling that is cost-effective and creates scale to massive amounts of images image files stored in Box. If you use Google Photos, you'll have firsthand experience with that. Mm -hmm. So uh, what's also important is, how do you start with your AI challenges? What use cases do you use? Is it mission critical or is it just cool? Trust, can I trust my AI and what are the implications? Deployment and integration. 60% of models intended for production never see the light of day in data. Often the data for the specific model you want to build is scarce and hard to use. The, I've talked a little bit about uh, obviously the components but and the, and the platform, but what's really important about our platform is uh, it has all these different aspects, pipelines to extract your data, it has tools to explain your models, explainable AI, make it transparent. It, uh, it comes with labeling, as I've discussed. But what's even better is we now have something called AutoML. And with AutoML, you can automatically create machine learning models. Developers with limited machine learning expertise can train high quality models specific to their business needs. They can build their own custom machine learning models in minutes. It makes it a lot easier for a wide number of people in your organization to use and build ML. So what also makes uh, machine learning easy is our industry solutions. The beauty of our cloud solutions is you don't need a data scientist or machine learning expert to implement it. And they plug into whatever technology i.e. cloud, you are currently using. We took our expertise in products and have fully integrated them with a number of partners with the goal of making it easy. You make the introduction to the partner, you explain your environment, and then they do all the heavy lifting to get it up and running. AI can solve major problems for you, and Google can help you solve them with our AI. A few examples. In healthcare, AI can safely and effectively assist physicians in detecting diabetic retinopathy, a major cause of blindness. In retail, AI can help you optimize pricing or better manage your inventory. And in manufacturing, AI can help you determine the condition of in-service equipment in order to predict when maintenance should be performed. And there are examples of how you can use AI across all the industries and we're building new ones every day. One that I find particularly interesting is what we're doing with Fox Sports. In order to help them unlock the value of their media library. Using our labeling, using classification uh, and using object tracking 
they are able to dig through their media libra library to count the number of times and, and identify all the film that they have of, say, for example, Tom Brady throwing touchdown passes to Gronkowski. Or another example would be um, any basketball player with the last name of Johnson taking a three-point shot from the left-hand side of the baseline. We're doing great things with Fox Sports. It is really, really interesting in terms of unlocking that library. Another industry solution that uh, I think this audience would be very excited about is our contact center AI. So in your contact center, you want every customer interaction to be great. That's what keeps them coming back. Customers want an immediate answer to their specific questions or problem. In the ideal world, you get them on the phone with an agent right away and make sure that the agent has everything they need to respond quickly and helpfully. That level of customer support is valuable and can have a real impact on your brand and your revenue. But it comes at a price, so you have to make a trade-off in today's environment. Provide excellent customer service that costs a fortune, or you focus on operational efficiency and risk losing your customers. But what if you could have the best of both worlds, best in, best in class customer support without sacrificing efficiency. So let me tell you how our uh, contact center AI works. A customer reaches out at any time of day. A virtual agent immediately picks up and says hello and asks how they can help. The customer explains their problem and the virtual agent has a natural human-like conversation with them, asking clarifying questions to get, the heart, to, get to, to the heart of their issue. Their question is answered then and there, either by the virtual agent themselves or by a specialist live agent. The virtual agent can directly help the customer resolve a standard issue. For example, I'd like to change my payment date, or I'd like to modify my plan, or I'd like to book a flight. After it's done, the virtual agent asks if you can help with anything else, and wishes the customer good day. When the virtual agent recognizes a tougher and high value case, they transfer the customer to a specialist immediately. The specialist has the customer, helps the customer immediately with no hold time or repetitive questions. In the background, agent assist listens to the call and surfaces information like relevant knowledge articles, FAQs, and account details in real time to help the specialist respond more quickly and helpfully. Throughout this, the topic modeler is analyzing all the conversations in real time, identifying trending topics, and more. This saves you resources and lets you get to the root cause of big call drivers faster and more accurately by analyzing, by taking that analysis and figuring out better solutions. We found with a number of customers that we've introduced this to that the difference between today's manual driven solution and this data driven solution is going from plus 50% to plus 90% in terms of effectiveness. This has been something that's been uh, very uh, exciting to many of our telco customers and other customers that have calls, call centers. Let me tell you about another uh, industry solution that we're excited about, document AI. Documents have a gold mine of data. All the documents that we all have, emails, PDFs, forms, images, the list go on. They can provide valuable insight into your business and your customers. They can help you make better business decisions, and turn that into making more money, saving more money, or impressing your customers. But instead, all of our documents are just sitting there, untapped, because it's difficult to read, compare, and understand the relationships between them. Here's a statistic. 90% of enterprise data is unstructured, with 70% of it in the form of texts and documents and emails. The challenging part is the that it's free form text. So as a written document, emails or comments, this is the information that's usually lost. This is not pure data aggregation. Aggregation. 
that can be done by other tools. This requires a natural language processing solution. If you're, if you're already trying to make sense of your documents, you know what, the, what potential they have. But you also know you can spend a lot of time and money on analysis that is prone to inaccuracy from human error or incomplete information. What if you could easily unblock, unlock the full value of that knowledge in your documents without breaking the bank? We've built the document understanding in intelligence solution to help you do just that. So AI can do a lot. A few things to keep in mind that we think are important. Using a human-centered design approach, the way actual users experience your system is essential to assessing the true impact of its predictions, recommendations, and decisions. AI can do a tremendous amount to make humans more successful and satisfied, and building for this can bring amazing benefits. Machine learning models today are largely a reflect, reflection of the pattern of their training data. Understanding the limitations of your data set and model can help you make good decisions. There's lots of data that isn't obviously in your data when it comes to humans. This is a reflection of societal norms, practices, and biases. Knowing they are, they are there can help figure out what to do about it. So treating interpretability as a core part of the user experience is critical. Understanding trade model, trained models and being able to explain them is becoming increasingly important in successful ML deployments. ML models can and have the potential to be way more explainable than human decision making. We are building lots of ex ex exciting tools to help with that. For example, adversarial testing to our what if tools to new areas like model cards. And we are excited to bring these tools and services to you. Another critical thing that we think is important is Google's AI principles. And we really want both our customers and partners to embrace them. I'll just talk you through a few of them. So on what AI should do, it should be socially beneficial, it should be built and tested for safety. It should incorporate privacy design and principles and be made available for users that accord with those principles. Things that we really don't want uh, to do with AI and we don't pursue. Anything that likely causes overall harm, anything that causes direct injury, that violates internationally accepted norms around surveillance or breaks international law and human rights. So I just wanna leave you with uh, my, my favorite example of how we put AI to use and that's Waymo. One thing I would recommend is that you go to YouTube and you can find a couple of different really cool videos on Waymo. One, one will take you back uh, just a couple of years on how Waymo works. And you can just search on Waymo, how does it work? And the second is people are now filming a lot of videos of their Waymo experiences, and you can, you can find those easily on YouTube. It's a great example of AI in our driverless car platform, which will soon be leveraging that platform with a lot of partners. So uh, I just want to end with that and uh, thank you for your time and having me. Adam, thank you so much. I hope everyone learned a lot and got a lot out of that presentation. Please remember to post questions and we'll discuss them at the end. At 4 p.m., you'll enjoy a deep dive into one of our Intel sessions. If you're interested on more than one session, We'll be recording them and you'll be able to watch all of them post-show. We'll reconvene at 4.30 for our final session.